I'll read out this question. Given below are likely returns in case of shares of Wiki Limited and Mickey Limited in various economic conditions. Both the shares are presently quoted at 100 rupees per share. Wiki Limited has got the probability and returns. Mickey also got a probability and returns. Now, what exactly we have to find out and what exactly we have to do in this question and thread, right? We have to compare what is the expected rate, and rate of return in case of Wiki and Mickey and what is the risk involved in Wiki and Mickey. Both we have to find out. Say when you are finding out the risk, always we have to calculate the standard deviation. Now, we should understand in this question how to find out the expected return also, standard deviation also. Now, let's calculate Wikis. See, Wikis, there are three economic conditions are there. Conditions, high growth, low growth, stagnation and recession and we have probability of 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.2, 0 0.1 and returns are 100, 110, 120, 140. Similarly, we will write Mickey also so that uh, the question will come on the board. The conditions is high growth, low growth, stagnation and recession. Probability of Mickey is 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.2, 0 0.1 and written we get is 150, 130, 90 and 60. Okay, sir. Now, presently, uh, both the company shares are quoting at 100 rupees price. Now, what we have to do is, we have to find out R dash. See, what is R dash? R dash is nothing but expected return. R dash is nothing but expected return. How you we used to calculate expected return is P into R, right? So, now we have to find out what is P into R. That is 0.3 into 100 is 30. This is 44. This is 24. This is 14. Am I right, sir? Now, let us calculate 4 3s are 12. 1 carries 2, 4, 8, 11. So that means expected rate of return is 112. So therefore, expected return is 112. Now, we have to understand how, what is the risk involved in getting 112 rupees. See, both the companies, Yerdu company, the shares of market, 100 rupees and added to it. But you guess what it is, 112 rupees. Hagadre, how much risk is bearing? How much risk is taking? What is the percentage of risk we have to find out? See, when you want to find out risk, we have to take R dash. What is R dash? Anthilidre. R minus R dash. R minus R dash. Sir, what is this R dash? R dash in theory is nothing but 112. See, we have taken 112 as a assumed mean kind of. That is, R dash is nothing but 112. Now, R is 100. 100 minus 112 is minus 12. This is minus 2. This is plus 8. This is plus 28. See, check with 140 minus 112 is 28. Now, this part is over. Next is R minus R dash whole square. Whole square means 12, 12 is 144 plus minus into minus plus. 2, 2 is 4. 8, 8 is 64. 28 into 28 is 784. We got it. Now, what is the next step and the last step to get is, we get the variance. What is the meaning of variance? How we get is, the probability into R minus R dash square. That means, R minus R dash square we have. This R minus R dash square 
should be multiplied with the probability. And R minus R dash square na now probability in the multiply mod beku. Mod sir, one doubt is it? Yes, sir. This is R dash. Yeah. Yeah, P into R madre 30 birthday. So R minus R dash madre like 100 minus 30 madre. No, no, no. No, no, no. 100 minus R dash. R dash we got is 101. Okay, okay, fine, fine. Okay, sir. See, we are calculating R dash total is 112. If you want, you can write even summation of R dash also. Okay, sir. Here you can write summation R dash also. Okay. Now, 144 into 0 0.3. 144 into 0 0.3. You get 43.2. 4 into 0.4 is 1.6. 64 into 0.2 is 12.8. 784 into 0.1 is 78.4. Now, when you check the total, 12.8, 1.6, 43.2, we get 136. Now, how to calculate standard deviation? See, this is called as a standard deviation. Standard deviation, we get a root of variance is nothing but a standard deviation. This is what we learnt in the statistics. Now, the root of variance is 136 root. Say, so, root of this is 11.66%. See, the risk rate is 11.66% in case of wiki. And expected rate of return is 112. Similarly, we have to calculate <coughs> what is the expected rate of return for wiki and what is the standard deviation. Now, again, we calculate R dash. So, R dash is nothing but P into R. So, 150 into uh, 0.3 is 45. So, 130 into 0.4 is 52. This is 18. This is 6. 60 into 10 percent is 6. Now, let us find out 14, 14, 16, 21, 3, 8, 12, 121. So, therefore, expected return is 121%. Got it, sir? Now, let us find out R minus this, I will call it as summation R dash. Okay, fine, sir. Next, we will go like this. R minus summation R dash. R minus summation R dash. R dash is 121. Now, 150 minus 121 is 29 plus only 130 minus 121 is 9. 90 minus 121 is minus 31. 60 minus 121 is minus 61. Now, let us calculate r minus summation r dash whole square. So, 29 into 29, 841, 81, 31 into 31, 961, 61 into 61 is 3721. Now, finally, we should find out P into R minus summation R dash square. So, multiply with the probability into 0.1. This we are getting 372.10. 961 into 0.2 is 192.2. 81 into 0.4. 32.4. 841 into 0.3 is 
Now we have to check with the variance. This is what we get the variance. Check the total C is 30.4, 192.2, 372.2, 372.2, 372.10 you get 849 now standard deviation is equals to root of variance so 849 root how much you get is 29.13 percent now actually says how to uh, analyze the risk factor here see the risk factor Whichever the standard deviation you are getting lower, the risk rate is less. See here, you are getting 121 rupees of expected return. Yes, the expected return is 121 rupees. The risk is the risk. The risk is 112 rupees. The risk rate is the risk rate. So, this is the risk rate. So, compare the expected return. Mickey is good. expected return is good. Mickey is good. When it comes to risk, Vicky is the best.